going to show you a way of working with Aperture today that I like to use a lot which is the full screen mode and one of the advantages to that is it basically hides all of the window chrome and any distraction from the screen and allows you to, to purely judge the photograph alone because sometimes if you have a light or a dark or a particular strong color around an image it'll fool the eye into thinking that there's a you know a color cast or a density difference that really doesn't exist so what you can do is you go up to this full screen here and you can click on that in the up there on the icon bar or you can hit the F key either way what you end up with is this screen where you see nothing but the picture now this is great for viewing the image and uh, you know judging any adjustments that you want to make but now you want to make those adjustments so what do you do well if you hit the H key it's going to bring up this HUD and this HUD allows you to make adjustments and of course you know you, you can also do the metadata and all the things you can do normally in the normal interface and what we can do is we can just click and drag the controls like we normally do however there's a problem what if this HUD is covering up part of the image that you want to see well it's not really helping you here any you know if I adjust the exposure that's great but I got this big panel in the way and you know sure enough yeah I can change the size by dragging there and there's a little little thing here I can click and it's going to drag it off to one side and you know dock it and then I can click it and bring it back but sometimes this HUD's just going to be in the way well what Apple has done is a really clever idea if you hold down the shift key on the keyboard and then click with the mouse on one of these sliders and make an adjustment what it's going to do is temporarily hide this HUD while you're working and just show you the bar that you're working with and then bring it back when you release the mouse so I'm going to demonstrate that now I've got the shift key held down on the keyboard and I'm just going to click on this exposure here and as I do that you can see it hides the entire HUD and just gives me this one little bar showing the adjustment that I'm making so you know I can make this a little darker now and when I release the mouse button it brings the entire hard back again so let's go ahead and demonstrate this on something else it works for all of these options you know let's say that I wanna I wanna bring in some more of the highest capture back some highlights here I just hold down the shift key click on highlights and drag to adjust and release so that's a quick little tip uh, you working with full screen mode and using the hard now you know you do have the other panels available if you move the mouse around to the top of the screen here you see you've got a main you got a bar there and down the bottom you can bring up the thumbnails to change to another picture so we could go to say you know this picture over here click and just keep working in full screen mode and you know again if I want to make an adjustment I'm just going to hold down the shift key move the distracting panel make the adjustment release the mouse and bring it back again so that's the F for the full screen mode, H to bring up the HUD, and you can hide it again. And if you press F, it's going to toggle you back to the, the normal view. And just remember to hold down the shift key when you're making those adjustments in full screen mode, and it'll hide that distracting HUD for you and allow you to focus on the image.